What major error did you manage to avoid during your teenage years? Not becoming a teen parent. Summer day. When I felt a higher power grab me by the neck and tell me to get out this instant I threw her off after she begged me not to pull out. And that was so sketchy I broke it off immediately. Later that week she got knocked up by some other guy. I had a baby before graduation. That definitely would have been my baby, so thank whatever higher power could overcome teenage testosterone long enough to deliver a much-needed message. I was pretty lame. My parents loved how easy I was on them as a teenager. At one point dot 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 dot. So what did you do this weekend? Prepared for my kid's juvenile call hearing. Found a used pregnancy test in Missy's trash can. Worked my second job to pay off the bills my kid ran up crashing the car. Caught Junior drinking. Drove my kid home from a wild party. Fought with ODD to get him to do homework. Watched TV. Crossy co-kids played World of Warcraft all weekend. UGH. I wish I had your kid dot 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 single quotes. Banging my hot neighbour. She was just a little older than me and really attractive in her late teens. She made quite a few gestures towards me to try to entice me. Had I 100 knew it was a bad idea. She's known for being reckless, selfish, and always causing trouble. I used to fantasize about her too, but I never took any action towards her at all because I knew it was the right thing to do. Now, she's a deadbeat single mother with no job and looks horrible for her age like she's been doing drugs for a while. One, never got into gangbanging. Most of the dudes I know that did are now dead or doing 25 to life. I think only one made it out in time and works for the sanitation department for the city of Burbank. Two, never did hard drugs. I've seen some dudes get their lives utterly fucking destroyed because they thought it'd be fun to smoke crack or meth at 17 and now live in the park. Three, got a girl pregnant. No girl would talk to me anyway. So that was essentially a skill issue. No pregnancy. No smoking. Only reasonable alcohol consumption. Drove responsibly. Put effort into my education. Avoided so many bad, expensive habits. And my health could have been so much worse. The high school grades are not the be-all and all your teachers want you to believe they are. But the scholarships you get will keep you out of student loan debt. No pregnancies. No drugs. No heavy drinking. No predatory credit cards. No student loans. No ML as they try. No criminal activity. No major injuries. And no psycho exes. The one mistake I couldn't avoid was racking up moving violations and ballooning my insurance costs. But my record has been clean for long enough to overcome that. Friend and I stole his foster mom's cigarettes and ran off into the woods to smoke them. We forgot to bring matches, or a lighter. So we figured, hey, it's tobacco. Same as chewing tobacco, right? So we broke apart a couple and stuffed them into our lips. And I never wanted anything to do with cigarettes after that. I didn't do drugs, commit any crimes or get anyone pregnant. Though part of the reason why was because my parents decided to homeschool me in order to avoid that. Even though those were all pretty bad. I don't know if it was worth it as I have some trauma from that time even now some five or so years later. Getting hooked on hard drugs. I've watched a couple of high school buddies waste away due to meth. It's like they stopped listening to reason. They ended up alienating everyone who cared for them. Losing everything they had. Losing their teeth and then eventually losing their lives. Not a fun way to go. You are a bot. Why are there so many bots posting? They all have 55 days. Have one ask credit post and comment once on said ask credit post. What the fuck is going on? Edit what the hell. Most of the commenters here are also bots. This is so strange. Edit okay maybe the commenters aren't bots. Every one of my girlfriends told me they were pregnant. Every one of them went one lied on purpose. The others were just paranoid. So yeah. Multiple teen dad bullets dodge. Starting at age 14. You'd think I would have wrapped my dick up. But I've never claimed to be intelligent. I didn't drink or do drugs. I enjoy wine now. 
and you can argue that alcohol is never good for you. But it's much worse on the developing brain. My peers were always drinking, partying, getting high, etc. I didn't do any of that stuff. I'd like to think it's paid off somehow. I got into straight-edge hardcore and never really equated drinking with revelry or any sort of coping during my formative years. I didn't get drunk until I was in my twenties. I do drink, smoke weed, etc. Now but to this day I can take or leave it. Getting arrested. There were probably more than a few times I could have been. But I was that combination of being careful and being lucky. Also, not looking like what authority figures think of as a juvenile delinquent was probably helpful. I answered this recently. But due to being a goth I never got too much sun, or tried to be tan when I'm pale in the 90s, when it was definitely the thing. In my 40s now, and my skin is pretty youthful and in good shape. Getting into drugs, booze, or anything really bad during that time. I was pretty recluse and kept to myself. Definitely hindered my emotional growth. But honestly it wasn't a bad trade-off. A car accident. I was at a stop sign and my foot accidentally came off the brake and I quickly corrected it just in time. I almost rolled into the road and I would have gotten fatally t-boned. Didn't get into amphetamine, which was extremely popular. From what I was told also very good quality and very, very cheap where I was living. But I lost a good amount of friends to it. Having sex and getting pregnant. Drugs. Getting MIPS. I didn't go to parties much at LOL, but it seemed like everyone was getting tickets from parties where the cops showed up, stepped out of a friend group that started skipping class and using drugs during school time, lost most of my friends doing so, but it saved me from a certain downfall. I managed to avoid you caring about high school. I knew it didn't he matter, and most of the people there didn't matter. I didn't have one ounce of stress the whole time. Bad habits in general. Literally the opposite of my older siblings but depression still gets you and it gets you good. Really good but I've managed and I live. Didn't do drugs. Especially growing up in a very known drug country town. Very proud of myself to have never touched anything. My sister on the other hand. Never knocked anyone up. Never did a single drug besides caffeine. The latter has not remained true into adulthood, but thankfully I do remain child-free. Didn't K lines myself. Was pretty depressed at some point of my life. Also didn't start smoking. I tried a couple of times. Still no clue how people enjoy it. Never developed a drug addiction. Most of the crew I used to fly with in middle school is either in active addiction in addiction recovery, or dead. I managed to escape the Mormon church before I got roped into a mission. Imagine spending 18 months shilling a religion I ever believed in. All my friends did hard drugs and I somehow avoided it all. They all cleaned up but I am now 10 years behind me in career. Same industry. Pregnancy, drugs, alcohol and cigs. I have done all a pregnancy in my 20s. And 30s though. Super glad I avoided it in my teens. I only went to high school for one year, so I got to avoid most of the being in high school with other high schoolers' errors. Meth was a big deal as well as other hard drugs in my town. I found out this all later. Never came across it ever. Well, I didn't get hooked on anything like smoking, drinking or gambling, thus avoiding lifelong crippling death. Never got myself arrested. I seen how many people did and it have a negative affect on their future employment. Dying. Abusive household. Ran away at 18. Just to spend days at a friend's house which was better than home. Grew up where it was rife with heroin addicts and clue s and i f f e r s dot 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 dot. I never did heroin or sniffed glue. Didn't realise it at the time. But I would say not getting put in SSRs was the biggest bullet I dodged. Never had sex. Never did drugs or alcohol. Never got arrested or had to go to court. I want a cookie. DUI. I try, but never got caught. 
very thankful I never hurt myself or some innocent other. Somehow not being murdered even though I did set myself up for some really questionable things. Did not sit in front of the electronic device all day and travelled, worked out, played sports etc. Getting pregnant. Had one scare and was incredibly careful with my birth control after that. Friends stole a car from a dealerships and drove it around school that act cool and got caught. Never got pregnant especially proud because I come from a long line of teen pregnancies. I never joined the street gang. I was in the rare percentage of kids from my neighborhood. I didn't drink or smoke weed or anything. I was kind of lame now that I think about it lol. I hit most of the major areas. That being said, I never got arrested, so a win is a win. Sleeping with people who don't care about me just for horniness. I will never do that. I'm one of the first women in my family that hasn't gone through a teenage pregnancy. Drugs and playing World of Warcraft. Knew damn well I'd get addicted to the latter. I'm one of the first women in my family who hasn't gone through a teenage pregnancy. I'm one of the first women in my family who hasn't gone through a teenage pregnancy. Getting pregnant or doing any substances besides alcohol before age 18 honestly. Didn't die and from the scrapes and shit I was in. It was a major achievement. Pregnancy, yep. Yeah. Went and had a DC quietly. Nobody knows. Best decision ever. Getting on fights, never had a fight and I hope it keeps going like this. Getting on fights, never had a fight and I hope it keeps going like this. I never got arrested for underage drinking. And I never got pregnant. Running with the wrong crew. Kept my head up and went to school. I avoid taking out massive student loans, so grateful for that.